The next word we are having is Durga Nashini. Nashini uh, from the root Nasha, Nashyati, to perish. From that, we had a prayojaka of that word, same verb, Nashayati. Nashayati is, that means make it perish, make it go away, in other words, destroy. So she is Durga Nashini. She's a destroyer of something. What does she destroy with all her might, all her powers, all her efforts and her immense power? Does she destroy? Durga. Throughout this Totra, every word begins with Durga, but there's a different shade of meaning in every Durga. The word Durga and Durgama are words with so many different shades of meaning. It's interesting, interesting to watch that and understand each different shade of meaning. Over here, she destroys what is Durga, what is very difficult, what is strong. Durga does not mean a demon, not at all, okay? However, when she destroys, she destroys evil forces. She has destroyed the physical demons like Shumbha, Nishumbha, um, Chanda, Munda, and all those, Mahishasuru. But not only that, it also refers to the and the unhealthy entities that are common in every human being. We call it tamas, tamoguna, and some evil qualities, some unhealthy qualities arising after that in every single mind. She is a nashini and a destroyer of all those also. So she is a destroyer of formidable entities, be it demons, be the shudrapos into one's own mind or such unhealthy entities. If we pray to her, she can also give us courage to fight calamities in our own lives. If the today's life is complicated, we all know that. And there are too many things that we face. We face obstacles, we face stresses, we face uh, fears, all kinds of things. And she's a nashini of all that evil forces and help, helps us. That's what I would interpret it. Sometimes it is not enough to treat a wound. Sometimes the wound is bad. So you need debridement. You need to clear away all that muck, the dead tissue, so that it is taken away and good healthy tissue comes back in. How do we understand what to cut out and throw away and what is good? We don't know. But the doctor knows, the surgeon knows. In here, she is the surgeon. That which is unhealthy, that which is getting gangrenous is no longer going to be helpful for us. That needs to go away. And she knows better than us. We might think that, no, this is very useful for me. But she knows as you go ahead, this is more of a hindrance than a help. Cut it out. Move it away. So this is what she does. And it is not easy. It is very difficult. It can be painful. And we scream a lot. We do. Even as patients and even in life. But we do it because we have moved away from the anesthesia. Just bring that anesthesia back. The shraddha that whatever she is doing is for my benefit. The surgeon is doing it for my benefit. That's why we keep holding the hand even if it is painful. In the same manner, we have to try and learn why it is happening. Understand it and try to be in sync with that energy. That is what we must learn from Durga Nashini. Sometimes she will be Sadhini. Sometimes she will be Nashini. Now it is not for us to decide what should be where. Because if we were Durga, then there is no need for anything else. Because we were knowledge. But we are not that. We are ignorant. 
she is the one who knows and that is why she makes those things those decisions depending on what is beneficial for us so we should have that faith that trust and things improve the debrided tissue goes away and healthy tissue comes up that is the crux of our relation with mom and with this let us conclude today namo narayan okay namaste namo narayan